Hi! <laughs> so this video is for my friends and people who constantly ask me about my hair. That's the number one question I get asked all the time when I am in a party, meeting friends, just walking through the town i get stopped by other women other girls trying to know how i do take care of my hair and i usually used to give tips and but i i, I realized so many people are asking so i figured i could either blog about it or i could make a video explaining how how I do take care of my hair. So I went natural 2009 and the decision for going natural was was simple. My relaxed hair was breaking so much and I just did not want to continue relaxing my hair. I wanted to have something simple. I wanted to simplify my hair care. I wanted to know how to take care of my hair. I just asked myself what it would feel like to have my own hair and that took me on the journey of keeping my natural hair and I still have it today. My kids, I have two daughters and they have their natural hair as well. And so, and um, it's the video is all about really putting the things together that I use or that I have settled on because when you get in on this journey it's so easy to become a hair product junkie hair product junkie is someone who tries so many different things buys so many different products I used to be that it's nothing wrong with that it's all about figuring out what works for you and I have figured out what works for me and for me right now in the background the set of products I use I'm gonna go through each one of them and just explain how I use them and hopefully this can you help you in uh, taking care of your hair or taking care of your kids hair and um, the number one mistake I did when I went natural was trying so many different things it's not about the product it's all about your technique of using the product I know the natural hair market has exploded with all sort of natural hair products and at the end of the day do search but try to settle for the ones that really bring you the good results and work more on the technique on doing your hair instead of uh, relying on the products to make your hair look a certain way um, so I'll just go through the different products. Uh, I've kind of like separated them. I'll start with the with the tools that helped me in, in doing my hair. And um, when I do wash my hair, most of the time I try to use my fingers. A lot of what I know, by the way, a lot of what I know right now about hair care, it's from a lady, a girl, a lady. <laughs> Uh, mahogany curls I'll put her link down in the description bo description box together with the links of all this product that I use and maybe that could help you as well in trying to figure out what is best for you so she uses her hands a lot and I do use that as well I try to um, use my hands to walk through my hair not use and by the way, I don't intend to do any tutorials. She has tons of tutorials. Just go through all her videos, learn whatever you want to learn from that. Take whatever works for you and do it. I'm just going to explain uh, verbally. Please just bear with me. I don't have the energy to do <laughs> uh, hair tutorials. So, denim brush. The denim brush I use to detangle my hair when it's wet very important do not brush your hair when it's dry it just cuts off all your hair always be gentle with your hair use the conditioner what i do is uh, before i wash my hair i put conditioner on my hair mix the conditioner with warm water so that it detangles the hair when it's soft enough use the denim brush 
to detangle to gently comb through before you wash your hair that works for me some people do it while they're in the shower but I do it before especially for my kids to remove all the dirt then playing outside playing in the sand playing all over their hair accumulates so much dirt that if I just put them in the uh, I just start washing them uh, in, in the bathtub it, the dirt doesn't go out so I use the denim brush and uh, tangler teaser all the links are gonna be down in the description box the dangler teaser is another form of the dang they do the same thing basically just see which one works for you I use this a lot for my hair I use this for my kids hair it's much more I it's I can it's it goes in my palms I can walk through it like using my hair so just walk through the roots and go down gently at times you walk through the, the down section and go through gently detangling the hair before you wash it I know it takes time but when you get accustomed okay <laughs> that's so funny Little bunny wants to say hello. How do I put off the timer on this? There we go. Okay. So uh, for my hair, when I'm washing as well, I do use the white tooth comb just to detangle it while you're in the shower. And when I'm styling, I use this tool as well just to cut through. And when it is fully detangled, I kind of use this to comb through the hair just to smooth it up before I start styling the hair. And the products I use now that works for me is the line the Argan Oil from Morocco. I hardly use shampoo on my hair, I just I use it once a month. I use it once a month to cleanse all the dirt but most of the time I use uh, the pre pool the pre pool is uh, it's a pre no co-wash sorry conditioner wash it's some kind of uh, conditioner that cleanses the hair so I use that from argan oil and then I use the leave-in hair milk the leave-in hair milk is so rich it has shea butter which is so good for the hair and for the skin and that's just what I use for the leave-in conditioner. At times, I use the Kink Curl. This is also great, but it's quite expensive. And when I do but purchase it, I use it for my kids. For my own hair, I use the, the Argan Oil Leave-In Hair. This is so good for the kids because it's gentle and it's natural. So you want to be putting natural products on your kids hair as much as possible do not put all the hash chemicals i'll learn from that because i used to put a lot of you try a lot of things then my kids develop they have very sensitive skin and the, the scarf kind of became really itchy and not good so now i'm really cautious about what i put in the hair mm, so that was the core wash and uh they have this they call the perfect edges which is what I use to kind of like smooth in my the side of my my hair so it kind of like smooth it down and then use this brush <laughs> I'll put all everything in the description box to brush through I can't believe I'm doing a hair tutorial I, I didn't think I could do that anyway so in washing see I just mentioned I don't use shampoo in my kids hair or my hair but this works Dr. Browners, this soap, it says it has 21 different uses and a long list of how to use this oil and it, it could, it, this could literally last me two years. <laughs> so what I do with this for my kids hair, I just started it by the way and I saw that it works really great, is uh, take a teaspoon of this, a teaspoon, not so much, you put it in uh, I don't know how much water I use, but I just you do. It, I just dilute it, dilute a teaspoon of water, put it in a container like this, put it on the on the scalp of the hair that cleanses the hair without stripping the hair's natural oils. 
without being harsh on the hair, without leaving it so dry. So this works very well for us right now. And another shampoo I found on Amazon is the Oli Olive Ilia. It's not so known. It says babies and kids. I'll put a link in the description box. I got this because that was when I was trying to figure out why my kids hair was itching so much. I would wash your hair and after one or two days they're gonna like be itching and itching and itching and itching. That's where I became really really cautious about what kind of product I'm using for your hair. And um, this is really cool. It's from Greece. It says two in one. Uh, non irritant to the eyes it's really really cool it has some really cool ingredients like camille aloe vera honey calendula pantanal olive oil all very great products for the health of your hair for the health of your skin and this I use from time to time I got it from it's a company in Greece I'll put a link in the description box and uh, after I wash my hair, I, while it is wet, I put in a leave-in conditioner. It could be this one, or it could be the argan oil. Then I can of use aloe vera gel. Aloe vera gel. Aloe vera is so good in keeping in the moisture. So I use that to lock in the moisture in the hair and it also helps in detangling the hair and also bringing out the coil pattern our hair when it's wet it takes its coil pattern so it kind of like helps the, the coil pattern um, maintain the coil pattern of your hair and also really manageable to style so I use um, I got this from again Amazon it's called aloe vera gel from Art Naturals it's pure natural aloe vera and um, it's a big bottle you could really use it for a lot for I use this for three heads for two, two months or so and it comes with a pump you kind of like put it inside and pump 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 another one I used to use is from Aubrey organics it's also really really cool but when I saw this it's much bigger bottle uh, this one is 118 milliliters and this uh, where is it 12 ounce I don't know the conversion but you can see it's much bigger it lasts more so um, Aubrey is pretty good it's really really cool I live in Germany I cannot have easy access to this and it costs way much more uh, purchasing it on Amazon so um, when I saw this I said it's a better return on investment okay um, castor oil castor oil I use after I have washed the hair to uh, oil the scarf so I'll take a little bit of it in my horn and when the lines are parted I kind of like put it on in there and I mentioned my kids develop really itchy hair and I tried a couple of things and found out share moisture it's a really great product really really great product for me though and for my kids it costs it so much I mean this particular line this particular brown brand they have different other brands where the hair is, where I haven't tried that out but what I tried was this brand and this brand uh, cost so much hair age my hair was itching all the time my kids hair was itching all the time so I stopped this this I haven't even opened I probably would give it away to a friend who needs it so and if that works for you perfect it's also a great line but this particular line um, just caused a lot of issues and I later found out it's the coconut oil there which coconut oil in natural hair world it's it's been used a lot but 
I don't know. Maybe I'll have to try it again and see if it really was the coconut oil causing the itches. But with this, I just had tons of itches on my hair. So I stopped that and instead I used uh, the castor oil. The castor oil, I use it to oil my scarf, to nourish my scarf, and also at times the tips of the hair to just give it some shine. It also gives a lot of shine for the hair as well. And it's all natural and this could last <laughs> a year or plus so um, those are my tips I know I've just kind of like highlighted the products that I use currently I know it's not enough if you're kind of like just beginning this journey or you are wanting to find exactly what you should be doing to take care of your hair or your kids hair my advice i don't intend to do any uh hair natural tutorials there are tons of tutorials out there all i can do is to direct you to someone who does it really really good someone i have been following for about four years now and all what i know about my hair the health of my hair the length of my hair is this long by the way was right down there everything I know about my hair is through her so I'll put her link somewhere in this video where you can click and you can see where she started and where she is right now and hopefully that can inspire you to learn one or two things that are gonna help you help your kids here and you taking care of your hair and your kids hair. so hopefully this helps but I just get asked so often how I do take care of my hair I'm putting this little video together hopefully kind of like brings light to you on how to start or where to look at and hopefully it helps hopefully hopefully it helps okay bye